This is a lesson from our Blender animation course. If you want to know more about how to animate with Blender, get the full course at bloopanimation.com slash Blender Animation. So two cool tools for refining your animation are onion skinning or ghosting and motion paths. So let's go over what these things are. To enable onion skinning, you go to the ghost tab under the armature and you can select the range of how many, how many frames do you want to see the onion skinning or the ghosting of before. So if we increase it to like eight, you can see that it's showing you the path of your current control. So you can select a little less and a little more. It's showing you that number of frames before and after. So that could be really helpful when you're looking at your animation and you want to make uh, changes. So you can, this is a good way, good way to examine your arcs. So maybe here you can see that the cube should probably, the cube uh, referring to the control of the body, should probably stop, start turning a little earlier. And you can just go between frames with the right and left arrow keys. So I think here it should probably start turning. And then here a little bit more. And then here a little bit less. And that way we can create better arcs. Now it's going to change based on the control you select. So if I select the hands, let's increase this a little bit we can see the hands onion skinning. We can have it that it'll show every control that we have by deselecting select only, but that's gonna just be very confusing. Now you can also increase the steps that you wanna see the onion skinning between. So right now we're seeing every frame because we selected one. If we change it to two, we're gonna see every other frame and so forth. So I'm gonna keep it at one. So right now here we can see that there is not a very pleasant arc with the hands going on. So we can change it. Well, you get the picture. Let's move on to the second tool, which will also help us create better arcs and nicer animation. This is the motion path tool. So it's under the tools tab. Uh, it's going to be enabled to whatever control we're selecting. So let's cancel the, the ghosting for now. So if we select the mass body control and we calculate the motion path by pressing calculate, it's going to tell us the frame range. We basically want to stick to the frame, frame range of our animation. But it doesn't matter if it goes over it because it's just not going to calculate anything that doesn't have animation on it. So I'm going to press OK. And already you can see what happened. It created a path showing us the path that the control is going through. So this is a really good way to make sure that your animation has some kind of nice arc to it. Let's do the same for the hands. And I'm going to clear the path for the body. Now you can see that the path the hand is taken could be a little more smooth. So we can just go frame by frame and change the location. And you see we've, we've created some kind of arc in this location. And now at this point in time, we should probably raise it a little bit. And you can see it updates automatically. So we can just keep looking at our arcs and try to make it smoother and nicer. So these two tools, the motion path and the ghosting, could be really helpful when you're trying to make your animation a little more, more refined and smooth. So don't forget to use them when you're doing your splining.